What's up guys? How you doing? This is Jay, your healthy accountant. And today is Monday. It's April the 23rd, I believe. Yeah, man. So sometimes I forget the dates, but it's April the 23rd. And we are shooting this video um, for the Your Healthy Business series. All right. So we've gone from audio broadcast to video broadcast. So today is the first day of the videos for the Your Healthy Business series. Wow, man, we stepping it up. We stepping it up. I got my man Grant Cardone in the background. Uh, that's my guy. He's my sales mentor. He's teaching me what I need to know or really taught me a whole lot about making sales. Um, but I wanted to come on and talk to you about, first I wanted to talk to you about the quote of the day. The quote of the day comes from Dr. Eric Thomas. Dr. Eric Thomas says that you only transition from one level to the next when you're tired of the level that you're on. And I'm going to tell you, have you ever been tired of a level? I know I've been tired of a level, right? Um, that's why I decided that I would go from doing audio broadcasts on Facebook to doing videos and uploading them to YouTube because you know what? I want to go to the next level. They said that when you do video, uh, and then especially when you're putting it on YouTube, and you're that means that you're really looking to take your business, take your brand to the next level. So look, this is the inaugural video for the Your Healthy Business uh, daily uh, daily broadcast. I look forward to a lot of things happening over the coming weeks, months, and years. But let's, let's get down to business, and that's your healthy business, right? What is your healthy business doing? Like, how does a healthy business work? And typically, you know, a, an entrepreneur, a business owner, solopreneur, you're looking to go from one level to the next. What's the level that you're trying to get to? And if you're, if, if you're a solopreneur, you're trying to get to the mindset of a business owner. A business owner is one that has developed systems. They, you know, you know, they're looking for leverage. They don't want to be the, the, you know, the only deal in the business. They want to make sure that whatever money they invest, whatever time they invest, that they have leverage so that they can begin to really do the things that they want. So how does one go from one level to the next? Wow, great question. I'm glad you asked that. The next level starts with the way you think. That's, the f that's like the first thing that you have to do is really look at what you're thinking about and what your current level of thinking is from going from solopreneur to business owner. Because a solopreneur, a lot of times, you know, you are, you were like me. <laughs> you were like me. I was solo. Um, and I, I only wanted to be solo for a long time. I, I didn't want to have employees. You know, I had some employees at one point. I said, you know what? I, I don't want employees anymore. So I didn't get any. Um, you know, I decided to bring my wife in. I said, you know what? I don't want to work by myself. Wife, honey, come work with me. I'm using my mindset. I'm saying, well, if I could leverage her skills inside of the business, then that's going to help the business go to the next level. You know, then you, you know, then you have to go and develop systems, right? As a business owner, you need systems. One of the first systems you need is what? Selling. You need a sales system. That's right. And so typically on Mondays, we like to talk about what um, types of things you can do in sales. And I'm going to tell you, the one thing that's hampered my business for years upon years, and a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of businesses, and it's the F word. It's the F word. You know what the F word is? No, it's not the one you're thinking. It's follow up. Have you ever had a problem following up? Oh, follow up has been killer for me. Like literally, when you don't follow up, that could be thousands to millions of dollars that you do not make. How do you follow up? Like, what's the best way to follow up? Is the best way to follow up just a phone call or just a text message? You know, follow up is so many things and I didn't know any of this. Um, really, I just figured that, you know, hey, hey, how you doing? Um, 
You know, you didn't buy the product and maybe you want to buy it now. I thought that was follow up. You know, follow up is so many things. Follow up is, you know, doing a video and sending it to sending it to the person that um, maybe you're trying to do business with. Creative videos, not just, hey, I'm following up to get your business. No, I'm following up and giving you something funny, giving you something that you could use. Maybe you follow up with, you know, some educational information. I like to send out an, you know, an email with, um, with probably this video and I'll send out a quote and, you know, I'll send out a tax tip and something like that. And, you know, something that, you know, could be useful, uh, education, you know, that's, that's information that a person would need. If you, if I send you a tax tip, that's something that can help you, you know, to know something about the tax code that you did not know, or that helps to confirm what you didn't know. Um, you know, just different things that could, you know, really help build who you are to the person that you're following up with. And I'm going to tell you, follow-up is critical. So look, if you're not following up in your business, that could be costing you a lot of cash. See, that's going from one level to the next. You know, do you write personal, personal notes? I started doing this, I think, last month. And it's just, some, it's just something new. You send out a personal note. You know, to you know the people that maybe you talk to, pe people that could be your clients, right? Send out a personal note. Um, you know, there's a bunch of ways. Send out, you know, have a webinar. You know, have some sort of event. Invite them out. Look, these are these are all things that, as entrepreneurs, we have to become more and more creative. So, on this inaugural video, a couple of things I want you to take out of this. I want you to take out. I'm going to read the quote from Eric Thomas again. And it says, you only transition from one level to the next when you're tired of the level that you're on. Are you tired? You trying to get to the next level? All right. Get tired of that level that you're on. That's one thing I want you to really be thinking about as you're taking something away today. Then it's follow up. See, follow up is one of the secrets inside of a thriving business. And I'm going to tell you, I'm getting some coaching on follow-up, not just from Grant. I'm, I'm building my systems, working with other people that know stuff about follow-up. Because look, man, the systems are everything. Technology should be your first employee. Then hire out. So have a way to follow up that doesn't seem like follow-up. It's nothing like having, you know, you know, for me, if... I'm not talking to somebody and maybe they opt into the funnel, right? They opt into the funnel and there's emails. There's just different things that's going to go out just to indoctrinate the individual to who I am and what I do. So you've got to have a way to follow up. Take away the day that you will change or you will adjust so that you can get to the next level. You want to come to the next level? Let's go to the next level. Look, I got behind me 10x, right? 10x because look, if you were planning on doing 100000 this year, you need to multiply that by 10. 10x! If you were planning on doing $200,000 this year, you need to multiply that by 10. If you were planning on doing a million dollars this year and that was your number and you hadn't already multiplied it, multiply it by 10. See, because where you go from there, imagine, your goal was... A million and then you did four right that's way better than one million you know so that's the goal always be reaching for a higher a higher level I was talking to a friend of mine and I told him I told him my goals I said man you know what this year 2.5 million dollars that is my goal for the year and he was like wow I said and then and then once I reached the 2.5 the next goal is 25 million Wow, next goal. See, I don't know how long it's going to take me to go from 2.5 to 25. Then from 25 to 250. Then from 250 to 2.5 billion. See, I don't know what the time space is going to be, but you know what? I got to reach for this 2.5 million first. Get to the 2.5 million, and from there, we keep building. What's your 10 next goal? How are you going to follow up? And how are you going to get to the next level? All right, guys, this is Jay. I'm the Healthy Accountant. If you haven't been to thehealthyaccountant.com, I want you to go there. Check out thehealthyaccountant.com. You put your email address in. There's a video. You can watch the video. And look, 
check out what's going on, how to bank 10, 20, $50,000 without worrying about your taxes, right? Don't, there's no more worries because I'm going to show you a system inside of the video. And then I want you to schedule a free strategy call with me, right? You schedule a call. We spend 45 minutes to an hour talking about you, talking about what's going on in your business, where you are, where you want to be. I'll offer you some different things that we can learn on the call. And hey, I don't know that we're going to work together, but look, at least you would get an hour, up to an hour with a, with a financial professional who can give you some actionable steps. But more importantly, look, if you need further help and we can, you know, work together, let's do it. All right, guys, God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the Your Healthy Business video broadcast. Take care.